Hey guys, what's going on? This is VT Reseller and I'm your man Topher. So we're down here in Nashville again. We got us another unit to look at. And I figured, what do you do when you're in Nash Vegas? You gamble. So that's what we did on this unit. Let's throw it open and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So this, again, this is one of those five by five units. It's a smaller unit. Here's our gamble, right? I see this. This case has been all over the place. We just need the guitar to be in the case for this to work, okay? So here we go. You open it right now? We got a guitar. Yay! And we're going to dig into it when we get back to the house. Hey guys, what's going on? So we got the uh, unit all loaded up and we've got it all sitting right over here. I want to take just a few minutes and, sh and show you uh, what I saw. So this is pretty amazing. This is the first unit I've ever had like this. There were zero boxes in this unit. Everything we had actually came in a tote or there was a couple trash bags, but everything was actually stored in a tote of some kind. I've never seen anything like that before. I'm really hoping that means that there's something really nice in here worth using all these totes for. We also know that we got the guitar, so we're gonna go through a couple totes. I'm dying to see what all is in there. So uh, we're gonna go through a couple totes and we'll break into the guitar case and uh, see what we actually got out of there. So let's start here and then we'll jump into the guitar, okay? Here we go. All right, let's see here. Got blankets. Let's see what all is actually in here. Oh, we got somebody's teddy bear. Cute little teddy bear. All right, but short of a teddy bear, looks like that's all we got in this one. All right, let's see. What all do we have in here? Oh wow, Somebody's, somebody is a yarn worker. I think it's melted that I smell. Yeah, that is very possible. All right, let's see, I can't get that out of the way. All right, look. We've got a stethoscope and it looks like some candle hangers here. Let's see if I can get this out of here without totally messing it up. There we go. All right, let's dig in here and see what all we've got. So it looks like we got a reader, which is nice. These books look like they're in fairly good shape, which is always good. Check the cards real quick. Oh, we got a graduate. That is always nice. Congratulations. Yeah, so I was able to peek in through the clear part of some of these totes, and there is a somebody was a was an artist. Oh, looks like we got somebody's diploma here. Oh, it's not. It's just the when you walk across the stage, you don't actually get a diploma. It looks like a nice box. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. Painted. Oh, well, that's why. It's somebody's art box. That's nice. Acrylics. Oh, that's really nice. It's a real wood box, too. That's that's a nice little box. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, that's cool. A little dream catcher. Buttons. Oh, the phone is missing some pieces. Looks like it's battery. missing missing the battery. We may end up with that in here somewhere. Stamps. Oh, 
Looks like somebody was going to try their hand at some uh, wood carving. Those are uh, wood carving chisels. That's actually pretty cool. And this is balsa wood, which is what you would start to learn how to carve on because it's really soft. All right, making our way through tote number three. Oh, hold on a second here. Let's see what all we got. Looks like we got some personal photos here. Let's get those out of the way. I got a brand new art canvas. Oh wow, that's a real glass plate. That's cute. A little out of season, but that's cute. I'm loving the totes in the totes. Oh dang, got some, got some art pencils. Oh wow, if that's something they're drawing, that is really cool. It looks like Joker. All right. All right, guys. I can't wait any longer. I'm dying to know what is in this thing. We do have a guitar in here. Uh, like I said, when we were at the unit, it looks like it's been all over the place. So I'm just praying now that this is a, a guitar that is actually worth taking all over the place. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let's see. It's dusty. It is dusty. Can you see down in there? We got a Gibson Epiphone PR150VS. Uh, so the PR150 series, that is not by far not their best series in the world. It's made in China. Um, the neck is really straight on it. Seems like it's in really good shape. I don't see any scratches other, other, than, other than somebody named their guitar Lucy, which is God awful frustrating when people do that, but um, looks like it's in really good shape though. So I know that this uh, PR150 series is in the neighborhood of like 120 bucks, 150 bucks. It's got a nice looking hard shell case here. Let's see if they got any picks or anything in the case. No, so it's just a standard hard shell case. But there it is, guys. Nash Vegas. We took the gamble. And it uh, looks like it paid off. Because I, I can only imagine that with the rest of this stuff, we're only looking to... We, well, I'm sorry. I didn't even tell you this. We ended up spending around $200, $210 on the unit. Um, with this coming in in the $120, $150, just depends on how fast you want it to go. $150, $120 range. We're really only looking between $50 you know 75 more bucks to get and with all of this stuff in toast I feel confident that there's going to be $75 worth of stuff here so I'm super excited we could really use a win and I think this just got it for us so excellent all right so now we got these uh for tobacco use only that's interesting all right well let's see what we got here oh here let's put it up here so it's a little easier to see All right, so oh, if I don't break them, those actually look kind of cool. Oh, candles in there too, tea lights. Yeah, so that's kind of neat. There we go, a little old smoky moonshine. Come on, I might have had my uh, share of that back in the day. Uh, I'm not sure what. I think those are teacher things. Those are what? Teacher things. Teacher things? Uh huh. When like a teacher wants to call on a student, they have like they write down their names. Oh yeah, okay. And they pick it for random. Oh, well, that's really kind of neat. Date night. Oh, maybe yeah. Maybe it's just a different system. Yeah. Panera. There we go. Oh, that's actually man. Man, I might have to steal this. Maybe we could use this for me and mom, huh? All right. So. Let's put Let's see what we have here in drawer number two. Oh, that's heavy. So this is apparently our book drawer. Yeah. 
the planner. That's a planner. We got books. Yep, I don't see anything else in here other than books, but I do. Oh, that looks oh, like somebody's diary. diary. All right, well, we'll take a look at those. You know, there may be something worth uh, worth selling. We'll definitely take them to the flea market with us, or maybe G will read them, one of the two. I love books, though. That is one of my... I know this book. You know this one? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Uh, it's about a circus. All right. Let's start right up here at the top. See what we got. Oh, yeah. You can tell we're in Nashville right there. Oh, hey! Money. We're making money, kids. I got a dollar. Is that a good luck thing? That is. I have no idea. It's like, good luck for us. You know? It, it could have been, um, if this was somebody that plays out somewhere, this could have been a tip jar because it's one of the big bottles. But there's a dollar. So we're, we've already made a dollar before we did anything. All right. That's empty. is empty oh, and this is a Victoria's Secret bag but is empty all right yarn. yep so here is the yarn stash oh looks like she makes hats just like red does Look like we're hiding anything in our yarn. Let's see it. I thought that's what I saw in here too. It's just more yarn. Yep. All right. So we've got some yarn now. Okay. So let's uh let's keep rocking. Looks like this is going to be a big old clothes tote. Let's just. I've been surprised on some of this stuff so far. And see, this is what I really like to see, man. All of this stuff is nice. It's folded up. It looks like it was really cared for. So even if I find something in here, it's probably going to be good enough to sell. Where some of these totes that we've had in the past, you, you just didn't even want to touch them because they were so gross. But just super cute stuff. This has definitely got my interest peaked, though, right here crafts and beanies so could that possibly be the ultra rare thousand million dollar beanie babies we're hoping uh, like Nana's collection. yeah like nana's collection here we go <laughs> it could have meant like yarn beanies <laughs> yeah they could have meant anything other than actually what is in here well let's see what we got Ooh, so harley about? quinn oh harley quinn uh Funko Pop box is in really good shape. Oh, we'll have to look that up. I don't. I'm not as familiar with the Funko Pops as I am some of the other stuff. Yeah. We definitely have some more books in here. What is this though? Again. Maybe an art box. Another really nice art box, man. Is it wood? It is. Oh wow, Ooh. look, this even has the... We had those in my elementary school ones, and we tried to like, uh, paint them. Yeah, this is excellent, man. This has got to be worth something. Holy cow. Oh look, it's like, it even has an, an easel. Oh, like, if you are on this side of it here. See how it's got the thing here? You could tighten this down and it's a... And you can, uh... Man, this is super nice. All right, let's see what else we got here. Just books. There's a TV stand. Some papers here. Hey, Mama, look at that. Yep, do a big book of crochet stitches. Oh yeah. Oh, got some more calendars. Like somebody got a gig at Chewy's. 
server training guide here. Alright, let's keep on going here. What do we have? Some adult coloring books. Oh wow, that is a brand new uh, scrapbook. So that's never been used. Seeing, trying to see if it had a price on it. But that's never been broke open before. So that's got all the stuff that you would use to start a scrapbook. Alright, so we got a what appears to be a tote of clothes. And apparently books. Make sure we didn't use hundred dollar bills for oh. It's a bookmark. As a bookmark, we didn't. Oh, that's kind of neat. Looks like a little jewelry, like a necklace holder or something. I think it's an athlete thing. So that means there could be more stuff in here. More books. Yeah, that's all I'm feeling there, guys. Just, just some clothes and books. All right. All right. So we're starting to make a dent in this now. We've got it. Looks like about four more totes, and then a couple bags, and we'll we'll have this one in the books, guys. Uh, so let's just take a look here, real quick. This was along the side of the unit this is real heavy we've actually done really well with this kind of stuff at the flea market this kind of stuff sells really well and this is in really good shape it's not bent up too bad so these are kind of tangled up a little bit but you can see that's the cat tails and then another butterfly All right, here we go, another tote. And man, these totes are really nice. Technically, That's you don't get anything, you just keep the totes. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm winning with just the totes. And you know what I see right here? That's a jewelry box. That excites me to, oh shit. There's nothing in there? It is empty. Uh. Empty, oh. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's pretty. I don't think we're going to retire on that. That's a nice little box, though. We're getting close. Maybe we have the rest of our jewelry in here somewhere. Live well, love much. That's nice. A little kitchen decor. Oh. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a good smelling candle there. Mm. Baby G would disagree. This tote smells good. It's a ton of hygiene stuff. Yeah. I'm just... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything... Yeah. That's just bathroom stuff. But again, a nice little... All that kind of stuff like that really helps me out when I... Uh... When I'm doing my... Uh... Flipping this stuff on eBay. Anything that helps me keep this stuff uh, organized is super helpful. Oh, come on. Big money. Oh. What is this? On a roll. Congratulations. Let's head on down to this one. What is that? Oh, this is one of those things you put in your yard, and when the wind blows, the uh. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty. We get a lot of those in our yard. Yeah. All right.
looks like this is somebody's cheerleading bag. Cheerleading. It looks like they did a good job of cleaning it out when they were done. Because there is nothing left in here. Or here. Oh, here's another guitar case. This one looks like it's been pretty beat up. Around here, those are kind of a dime a dozen. Oh, so this is probably the uh, the curtain rods that go with our things there. All right. Well, again, these bags are all in really good shape. There's just, unfortunately for us, there's nothing in them. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's fake, but it's pretty. All right, we have another huge tote of clothes. I will say though, oh, it's American Eagle. American Eagle, American Eagle. They're nice. Gap. So the quality of their clothes is actually here's another American Eagle. Holy cow! So the quality here is definitely good. That's nice. That definitely makes a. Uh... And again, you know my flashy pockets theory. If flashier the pockets I'm not familiar with the brand but it's got flashy pockets so it'll sell all right guys I'm not feeling anything else down here oh killing me all right here we got some more clothes oh I felt something oh that's hangers This is just closed too. Oh, that's a cool hat. Well, that is a cool hat. Oh, it's not a Harley Quinn. Yep, here. It looks like somebody's Harley Quinn hat. That is actually really nice. And it is uh, DC Comics, so it is a legit. That is really nice. All right, so we got just the last little bit here we're going to knock out real quick, and then we'll put this one in the books. So this was somebody's uh, like portfolio bag, art bag, with the handle or the strap on it. But inside here, we can see sketchbooks. Well, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, that's pretty. Sketchbooks. Pencil, paint. Yeah, but I'm not seeing anything else in there. Let's see what's over here. No, I'm not seeing anything else. That's a really cool bag, though. Look at that. I don't know that it's... See what we have here in our bag. Let's see if we can turn our luck around. Hmm. I'm not too terribly up on my tags. The NFL. But that I don't see a date on that. But that looks like an older tag. Like is this from the NFL? Yeah. Is that like important or something? That's the football. I know, but like is it worth it? If it's a vintage jersey, I don't know. We'll set that off to the side. That may be worth looking up. Again, I don't know my uh, tags. Here's another NFL jersey. 
the end of the Oh, look, a Bachman colors. Yeah. These two. Our locker. Lacquer. That's a nice looking jersey. All right, now a couple of these pieces here were a little bit bigger. So this rug was in there. From what little I could see, oh, that's so pretty. it looks like it's in pretty good shape. But that is a pretty rug. It's hard to tell exactly how big it is, but if we can get that cleaned up a little bit. That will definitely go on Facebook Marketplace. And then we had this mirror, as you can see. It does have a little bit of damage up here at the top, but that's definitely something that a little bit of wood glue could take care of. And I think we're in the, put a little bit of glue here, and I think we're gonna be in the neighborhood of 40 bucks or so on the mirror, because it's a, this inside piece here around the framing is all solid wood. So this is, this is a really nice piece. And then, obviously, we got Christmas, and I've never seen one quite like this before. But this is a Christmas countdown, how many days till Christmas, and it's got a little magnet to count down the days till Christmas. So that's not going to do much for us right now because we're in springtime, but that's just, I thought that was really, really kind of cute. Oh, and it looks like it was a uh, $20 piece. So, we'll take that to the uh, flea market with us and we'll see if we can get anything for that. All right, so at the end of the day, guys, um, this was a so much better than some of the units we've got here uh, in the past. The, the guitar was a saving grace. We did actually have a guitar in there. Like I said, you're in the neighborhood of $125, $150 for the guitar. Um, everything else, it's going to be a bunch of little things coming together to uh, get this unit paid off and then... stuff oh yeah all of the little things coming together here to get this uh, unit paid off but then with when we all of the art stuff the clothes for sure um, we've got I would say several hundred dollars in clothes um, that we can put on Depop some of the even nicer stuff I'm gonna throw on eBay just to get it going a little quicker and get a little bit more money for it so we are we are well in the good here it feels so good to actually have a good unit. Um, you forget how that feels when, until you've had a couple bad ones. But I appreciate you guys. If you've made it this far with me, I so appreciate you hanging out with me. Guys, until we get to do it again, be safe, and I'll talk to you next time.